this is a safety relay. Many, if not all, machineries will come with a safety relay. The safety relay is a supervisor of the safety components to that machine. So I have a setup here, as you can see. So I wired this safety relay single channeled and on the safety circuit of this relay, I have a interlocking switch here. And then it goes to a limit switch. And then I don't have, you know, the e-stops, but I'm using these contact blocks as your e-stops. So I have one e-stop, two e-stop, three e-stop. Then I have this push button. Again, just a contact block. I don't have the actual button. And that is what's gonna trigger the safety relay to complete. And after the safety relay completes and all the channels are made, it's gonna then close in the built-in contacts. This 47 and 45, 57 over here are time delayed. You can set it right here. And then all these over here are uh, instantaneous as soon as the safety relay is ready to go. So then I have this indicating light coming off from one of the normally open contacts on the relay. So when the relay completes, it's gonna turn on this indicating light to notify that, hey, you have control power. Your safety relay then closes another normally open set of contacts from the relay over to the stop start. You have power coming from the safety relay into the stop coming out from the start, then energizing a relay. And then this ice cube relay is then gonna um, turn on this DC motor. And first off, we need power, which we do. We have a 24 volt power supply that's gonna feed into that terminal block, which then feeds power into our uh, safety relay. So right now we do have power at A1 and A2. And then if we hit our trigger, as long as all of our safeties are good, the relay will then be ready to rock and roll. So let's hit our trigger and turn on our safety relay. So as you can see, our indicating light is on and you can see that all of our channels are met. And then now with the relay completed, we can then start this DC motor up. So the DC motor is now on. We can stop it and start it. So in the event that any of these safety components would be triggered or turned off, the safety relay will then de-energize completely and kill power to the whole circuit. So we would come and hit one of the e-stops, it kills power to the circuit. You can see that the channels are not completed anymore. Now let's say that somebody tried to open up a gate, a door to the machine with this uh, interlock. As soon as you turn the keys, it's gonna kill power. And if you do not fix this issue, putting the key back into the lock position, you would not be able to turn the safety relay on and the circuit will have no power to, to start. So let's turn our key back to the lock and we can turn the relay back on. We can start our circuit again. And here is a limit switch that acts as an over travel for the machine. So let's say that there's something that is never supposed to pass beyond this point on the machine. If something would come and hit it, it's gonna trigger the safety relay to shut itself off. So if you're ever having problem with having no control power to your machine, you go ahead, open up your cabinet and take a peek at your safety relay. Make sure that all your channels are made and your safety relay is ready to go. And if it's not, then you just pull out the schematic and look at um, the safety circuit. And so for in this case here, these are my, this is my safety circuit. The door in the lock, the limit switch, the three e-stops, that's the whole safety. If any of these are open, my relay are not, is not ready. So until next time, deuces.